and ghosties. Hello and welcome to the official start of haunt hunting. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That's right, there is a code orange right now because I, as I said I was maybe gonna do in last week's video, decided to venture off to a different Joann's location. So I told you guys that my closest Joann's, which is like the biggest one in the area and usually the best, I believe they're short staffed right now and they do not have any Halloween out as of yet. It is currently the 17th. I decided to go check out a Joann's that is a bit farther away. Usually this one has literally nothing, even later in the year. And guys, there is like a full blown aisle. I am screaming and crying and oh my gosh, my passenger seat already has some stuff that I purchased, but of course I'm not gonna show you that yet. You have to wait for Halloween number one. But without any further ado, let me show you guys what is in my Joann's that I just stopped at. As you can see, this Joann's had started to put out their spooky stuff. It is not a full-blown section yet, but there is quite a lot to look at, so I guess we should dive in here. First, I was seeing a lot of skellies and a lot of black and white, which thank freaking goodness. My mouth is on the floor like this guy. There were quite a few ornaments here. I don't think this is their full selection, but there were a few, and I love that because last year I bought quite a few ornaments from Joann's. They also had their really good mugs out already, which I feel like usually come out later in the season, so I was happy to see them. I really liked this black skull, though they did have it in gold too. There was a classy witch mug, a sugar and scream mug, and a hocus pocus I need coffee to focus mug. They also had a black cat on a pumpkin cookie jar and a couple light up jack-o'-lanterns too. Joanne had this really cute simple ghost plate and a spiderweb plate. They also had this silver snake that I think is from the witchy line. There was a light up skull with iridescent multicolor to it. And next to that were all of the pillows, which I am loving what I'm seeing for the Joanne's pillows so far this year. I love a hook loop pillow. This jack-o'-lantern really caught my attention. So did this triple jack-o'-lantern. And you guys know I was already looking at the bat pillow too. Here's a look in person at the bat pillow. I think this pillow would be really nice if it wasn't so damaged. So for some reason this store had all of their bat pillows completely damaged with loose strings that were totally just messed up. And I tried yanking on them a little and they are coming out of the pillow. They're not just stuck to them. So at least at this location, I'm gonna pass on the bat, but he's really cool in person. I did really like this tapestry sort of skull too. I just know that I can't go home with every single pillow so I need to pick and choose. The trick or treat ghost pillow was cute as well. And these pillows were a bit more childish so these ones didn't catch my attention as much but they were still really cute and they were very soft. A few of these items, I couldn't tell if they were from the witchy line or from the actual Halloween line. There was this vulture head that seemed crooked. I don't know if it is supposed to be like that, along with these eyes that I've seen past years. This was this year's version of the ghost windmill. Not as cute as the original one, but I do like it. They had this really creepy zombie you can hide behind your tree. And then of course they have some bar accessories like this bottle opener. I have a few of these hooks for the front yard with a spiderweb detail to them. They're really cool all year round pieces. And this skull planter was very heavy and very nice quality. I definitely think these few pieces are from the witchy line. So let's move on to the other side of the aisle where there is even more spookiness to be seen. There was a cart full of skellies that need to go out and they had this really cute ghost cookie jar. Again, I think these are a couple pieces from the witchy line. These rugs are definitely from the Halloween line though. I love this ghost graphic rug. I may have to pick this up. The art style is so cute and classic looking. They also had some coffin shaped shelving and a lot of kitchen towels as per usual. This was my favorite one. It's like the towel is the ghost. That is so cute.
Joann's had this light up haunted house that I do really like the style of. I feel like they have one of these each year, but they may kind of redesign it each year. Neither of them were working for some reason. They have this really cool skull stack mirror too. More skull planters that once again were very high quality and this door knocker skull that I actually do have from a past year and we keep it on our garage door. I love it. More bar pieces like these whiskey glasses and they also have some Pottery Barn knockoff wine and champagne glasses too. You can get them in sets. I have these giant skulls in our front. We use them all year as well as giant planters. They had some packages of multi ornaments and some neon lights that I think I've seen here in past years. This was a big plastic cauldron and I know I've heard that they have a ceramic cauldron here too. This was a haunted house shaped cookie jar. This is probably my favorite of the cookie jars that they had. Here's another ornament. This is probably my favorite one I've seen so far. Once again, very vintage and classic looking. I'll probably have to grab that too. Some bat and cat plates along with this charcuterie board with skeleton arms on it. I think this might be a Pottery Barn dupe as well or else it's just something very similar. A lot of little ghosties, which I'm a huge fan of, including these ghosts carrying a platter. Now that is so cute and clever. Whoever designed that deserves a raise. They had their usual melamine bowls with their version this year of the vintage kind of sketch pumpkin look along with some felt jack-o'-lanterns. They were all slightly different. This was definitely my favorite one with the zigzaggy mouth. There were a few more mugs over on this side. This witch brews coffee, death before decaf, a lot of the classic sayings. I'm spooky all year long. It's definitely my favorite one and I love the bat graphic to it. Last but not least were a bunch of bone skeleton animals, skulls, and even the ceramic cauldron that I was referencing before. This one's really nice and quite heavy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, adrenaline is pumping through. So it's like the perfect day outside. So yesterday was Father's Day, as of where I'm at time-wise currently filming. It was 100 degrees and like 60 points of humidity. Disgusting. Today is like mid to low 60s and rainy and cloudy and the humidity's gone. It is the perfect day to start haunt hunting. I'm wearing a spooky shirt, my Moschino Dracula teddy bear shirt, and I think that I'm gonna go on with this adrenaline and we're just gonna check at home. So I did just check at home two days ago, but you never know. You never know. I feel like there's some good vibes going on. I feel like there's some some eeks, creaks, and squeaks coming from around. There's just, there's, I've got a good feeling. I'm gonna check at home now. I'll show you guys either way, but I'm, ass I'm assuming there's nothing, but let's just keep our hopes up. Let's continue on this wave of spookiness. I'm, I'm like, I can't, I can't. I can't. So, I mean, okay. <sighs> Technically, this is only one place that has any Halloween, and not even all the locations of Joann's have Halloween. I don't know if this is officially, like, what I would label as, like, haunt hunting. I feel like we're kind of still in spooky stalking mode. For some reason, I would refrain from saying haunt hunting until there's, like, at least two stores that are officially putting out official Halloween. If at home, has Halloween, we are in haunt hunting mode. Currently, we're spooky stocking for all the spooky stuff, but I just, I can't believe I already have stuff. It's June 17th. At home is later than last year and Joann's is earlier than last year. So thank you, Joann's, for that one. I am, I'm on a high. I'm gonna drive to at home now. Send me the vibes, send me the spooky vibes. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go there now. And I, I literally just can't handle it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Nothing in at home yet, but this aisle was completely clear. Here's to hoping that that is making room for the Halloween stuff. 
Well, ghouls and ghosties, at home was a flop, but I am not very surprised by that. I just came here two days ago and there was nothing, so if there had been stuff, I would have been very surprised. Skelly's in the back, of course. He's pumped. He cannot believe we have started at least spooky stocking. So I will keep off camera spooky stocking at home, and as soon as I finally see something, I will show you guys for sure. Or of course, if this Joann's adds more, or if my local Joann's gets in their full section with some new stuff, I'm totally gonna check back in. But for now, I'm just pumped and it has begun. I'm so excited. Hello, ghouls and ghosties, and happy first day of summer to you. So you might be thinking if you're new here, um, why do we care? It's summer, we're not here for summer, we're here for fall. And I totally agree with you, but if you're not new here, you might know why that is something special. So last year, the year of 2023, the summer solstice was the very first day of official haunt hunting. On June 20th last year, we saw our very first Joann's starting to put Halloween out, and that was the Joann's closest to me. We had last year seen at home already by this point too. So we kicked off haunt hunting. So to celebrate and commemorate this year, we are going to amp up our spooky stocking today and we're gonna do it together. So currently, I am in the parking lot of Cracker Barrel. Now Cracker Barrel is not supposed to have their stuff out in store for exactly one more week. So next Thursday is the first day that they are officially for sure having stuff out. But I thought we would just check today, just in case. And we're gonna check at home once again today. And we're going to check my closest home goods today. I don't have high hopes there either, but I just thought we'd check. And then we're gonna check check the Joann's that is closest to me, which I think our best odds would be the Joann's closest to me because we saw that other Joann's putting out Halloween finally. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm expecting the best results to come from the Joann's. But the place that I probably have highest on the wish list right now for actually starting to put Halloween out realistically would be at home. So I'm really, 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 really hopeful for at home, but I probably have the most likelihood in mind for Joann's. I also do have to go to Costco today and I've seen some people see Costco stuff so if I see anything spooky at Costco I will also show that too but I'm very excited to be checking out some more places today I hope you guys are too I got my like spooky knockoff coffee which is just my like chai iced coffee and I'm well I'm not energized yet I'm actually like super tired <laughs> if I look or sound or I'm acting kind of tired I am really tired it's like 8 30 a.m and we're preparing for Ryan's family to come visit us. I'm gonna try to get energized, but I'm actually at Cracker Barrel right now. Can you see? Right there. I'm here, Skelly's here, we're ready to go, we're amped. We're gonna keep the hopes high for everywhere. So let's go in and let's see if they have anything out. So I walked into Cracker Barrel and all I saw was this Pikachu and a collection of some lunar pieces, which I assume have to do with the eclipse this year. Next stop, at home. <laughs> surprise, surprise, at home was barren once again, but there was this set of fall orange leaves, which did give me a little bit of good vibes. Then I went to Costco like I said I would, and there actually were a couple spooky pieces. They were Disney pieces. <laughs> Alrighty, ghouls and ghosties, stop number three for the day. We are at Joann's. Let's see what Miss Joann has for us. I could see peeking out from this aisle a pumpkin, so they had added out these pillows. It is of course a good sign that there's anything spooky in this store, so I will take it. I've seen basically all of these at my other Joann's location, but it was good to see them again, and good to know my local one was getting them. Their bat pillows were in much better shape than the other one, so I guess I'll be getting my bat pillow here at some point. And they had a few pillows I hadn't seen yet, like this giant skeleton guy. He's a little blurry for some reason, but he's still really cool.
This location was also starting to put out their skellies. They had quite a lot of them in a lot of different colors. They also had the giant skull planters and a lot of skeleton animals. And there were a few other pieces over here, like these light up ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns, and this pumpkin stack that I swear is a repaint of something that Target has sold before. I'm pretty sure I have this in orange from Hide and Eek. So odd. They also had a few neon signs at this location and this wraith looking guy, which was pretty cool. The light is very, very dim, but hopefully you can kind of see it there. On the other side of the aisle, some hanging light up witch hats and this pop out of the ground ghost that I do love. He's kind of funny, but cool at the same time. There was one rug out here and it said home sweet haunted home. It was a pretty cool, very classic looking rug. And around the corner there were just a few more pieces like a jack-o'-lantern cookie jar that we've seen, a couple of melamine plates, this ghost ceramic bowl, an open mouth jack-o'-lantern, and a couple other ceramic pieces and kind of sitting decor. This was a really cool stained glass skull that I'll probably be grabbing at some point. Kind of weird how they only have one out right now. And this was a really cool piece of wall art with a very historic looking skull on it. Why hello ghouls and ghosties and welcome to another day of haunt hunting. So it is currently, I mean you can see the date somewhere on the bottom here, but I think it's, what day is it? <laughs> like the 20 something. Ryan's family was just over for like the weekend and they just headed out about like an hour or so ago. So of course I'm already back out on the beaten path. Now you might notice that in the last clip or like the last day we didn't get to home goods though I wanted to and that's fine because I highly doubt they would have had anything. I've still not seen anyone post that there's any home goods sightings but it is a new day and I think I'm gonna stop there today just for fun because you never know. Some store somewhere has to be the first to put it out and who says it's not gonna be mine? <laughs> I am gonna stop there today and check. It's also next to a Marshalls, so I will check the Marshalls too. Otherwise, I'm gonna check at home today and I'm going to check Joanne. I'm hopeful that more will be out. I don't remember if I got a clip, but there were a bunch of boxes all over the place that I assume were Halloween stuff. I didn't really like read them. I really should have, but I have a feeling that that was all Halloween stuff that's about to go out. We'll see, but I'm gonna check all those places today. So we basically have four stops today. I'm super excited. I'm actually on my way right now to, even though it's 1 p.m., get my kind of spooky knockoff coffee, which is my chai iced coffee. I'm super hopeful for Joann's and I just, I have so much anticipation for at home because their stuff looks so freaking good this year. Also, one last thing before we actually start hunting. I just, as I was walking out the door, saw someone make a post that you can find one of the Michaels collections on their website and it says coming soon. And guys, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> I am already not feeling good about Michaels. And if you've been here past years, you kind of know, like I always try to like have my hopes up for Michaels that we will go back to like the classic, very traditional Halloween look that they really did well on in like 2020 and 2019. But the collection they've kind of posted so far is like groovy tie-dye 60s hippie Halloween, which is super like, niche I feel like like I know that's gonna be a couple people's like niche and they're gonna like love it but like it is not mine is all I will say as for usual my Michael's my Michael's excitement is not not through the roof not super super high spirit Halloween also 
posted all of their animatronics for the year. I don't really usually buy the animatronics in Spirit Halloween. If I get any, I usually end up with Home Depot ones for some reason. But maybe at the end of this haunt hunt, we will go through and look at the Spirit ones because there are some really interesting, pretty cool ones. I just, I don't, I don't think I'll be buying any of them, but we could go through them together. That'd be pretty fun. But anyways, I'm gonna get my coffee and then we're gonna start hunting. Okay, okay, deal, deal. Nothing in at home once again. Still striking out at, at home, but that's okay, I suppose, because we know that Joanne's was putting stuff out last time we went. So if anything, I guess they have the same stuff out, but I hope that they have more. Ugh, I just wish at home would put stuff out. They still are posting to social medias like Halloween is here and Halloween is sooner than ever, blah, blah, blah. But I just like, I get a feeling that mine is waiting for after the fourth this year, which I'm not sure why they would since last year they were like much earlier, but whatever, take it out, bring it out. We need it, we'll buy it, bring it out. <laughs> Joann's had not added anything out, though they did have quite a lot of boxes sitting around that did say they had fall and Halloween in them, which obviously is a good sign. Marshalls, unsurprisingly, had nothing, so we went next door to Home Goods, and surprise, surprise, there was nothing. Good morning, ghouls and ghosties. It is the 24th today, so two days after the last couple clips that we won't talk about. They weren't they weren't very successful. They weren't much of a Halloween. But hopefully today is. <laughs> I'm gonna check Joann's today and I'm actually gonna check the Joann's that we saw stuff in the first time. And then I'm also gonna check at home today. And then I also might check the other Joann's today. I, just real quick before we start hunting, wanted to say that <laughs> at home, I might become an at home stand for 2024. Every time I see people post photos of what at home has this year, my wish list grows. So it just like makes me itch and itch more for at home to just hustle up. I don't think my wallet's rooting for at home to hustle up, but I am because if they get this stuff out, like again, I could see myself becoming a stan of at home this year. I feel like at home has been a place I've really liked in the past. One of my favorite stops in the past, not as much last year and definitely not the year before, but this year, Halloween may not be sooner than ever in my area, but Halloween might be better than ever at, at home. Cause yeah, my wish list probably gained like three more things yesterday. There's these like, maybe I'll put in a picture. There's these like outdoor concrete crows. There's a couple crows and there's a lot of just like really nice outdoor big concrete pieces that I'm really, really liking. <sighs> And we have this landscaping in front of our house where I already have quite a few kind of like crow and gargoyle things. And we just found out this last summer that we actually cannot put any kinds of plants <laughs> in that landscaping, which means there's room for like concrete decor pieces. So like <laughs> at home, gimme, I want them. Anyways, those are the two places that we are checking today. I'm really excited. I'm really hopeful, blah, blah, blah. I said all this two days ago and then nothing really happened. So we'll see. Back at the Joann's that was putting stuff out first, I found this bat wall hang that I hadn't seen the first time we were in here. And there were a few of these very retro styled window clings. They look very 80s and 90s. I do kind of like that. Obviously I'm not gonna be grabbing these, but I like the vibes. They also are bringing back the skull fencing. I have quite a bit of this in our backyard. I love these fences, they are so nice. They change the design just a little bit each year, which I kind of like. And then they had this velvet skeleton. I love how dark black he was. Last up, giving at home another shot and there was nothing. Yet another strikeout at at home, and I'm not really surprised. Like I said two days ago, I think for some reason they're waiting for after the fourth, which whatever. We're getting close now, so I guess I'll survive. I, I know I said it before, but I'm sure many of you didn't catch it. I'm gonna be going on a vacation for a week for the week of the fourth. So I'm expecting that when I get back, like there's kind of gonna be quite the like code orange boom. I would assume at home would have quite a chunk out. And I would assume 
that home goods in my area will start to have them out and i will assume all the joannes will be catching up i'm really thinking after my vacation we're gonna have like quite the week of haunt hunting and i'm super excited so i might do a few stops on my way back from vacation but on the way up there's just not going to be anything i leave this saturday and like there's just not going to be anything at home goods and stuff i could maybe stop at a joann's if there is one on the way but i don't really know if there is but otherwise i'm going to do some filming on the way back from vacation and i'm excited about that one thing i will say also that i meant to say earlier but it's totally slipped my mind is i've seen from photos on like Facebook groups and stuff that at home seems to have lower prices this year, which is fan fantastic because one of my biggest things with at home is usually that i feel like they're really expensive and like there's no coupons there's no sales you literally just like you pay the price or you don't get the item but i swear stuff seems a lot cheaper like the raven lamp post is 120 and i don't remember what i paid but it definitely wasn't 120 it was like 150 or maybe even like 200 i think it was maybe 150 but i feel like their prices look really really good this year which even supports more haunt hunting here and spooky shopping here. So I'm just chomping at the bit, if you guys can't tell, for at home to get their stuff. But anyways, we're gonna go to the other Joann's after I do a couple more errands. And then unfortunately, that's still <laughs> mid-June. That's still all that we can do for today. Let's go to Joann's. Nothing new at Joann's once again, though they have been unpacking these boxes and putting it in this crate for some reason. <laughs> Hello ghouls and ghosties and happy 27th of june so we got some special stuff going on today and i am dressed for it and skelly is back there and he's ready for it if you can see him behind all that stuff so i got my spooky shirt on one of my favorites ever and i'm ready to go we are gonna go haunt hunting today and i can officially say that this is officially haunt hunting mode versus being spooky stocking and that is because we will officially today see more than one store with a full halloween section and i can guarantee it today is going to kind of be the finale of this video and that is because we have many places to stop and i have a good feeling about multiple of them we will be stopping at Cracker Barrel because the 27th was promised to us by Cracker Barrel that this would be the day that they are going to put out their full in-store display and guys I am so excited I did an online order with Cracker Barrel when they first posted it online and the stuff I got beat my expectations so I'm really excited to see the other stuff in person and there's one thing I have in mind that if it impresses me enough in person and if it's there I'm gonna be picking it up but also we're gonna be going back to at home now that is the one that I don't have as much hope Open, for sure but then we're going to Joann's which as we saw on the 24th Joann's was really starting to unpack stuff so I have a good feeling about Joann's it is my local Joann's the biggest one I'm pumped I got a coupon I'm ready to buy stuff if it's there so I hope they do and last but not least we are gonna finish off this video by also checking Michaels so I've seen online that Michaels has suddenly acted very quickly in many locations to get out a full center of the store Halloween section. Now you may have heard me kind of say it a couple clips back, but I've seen some sneak previews and I've seen a couple pictures and I will say I am not excited about Michaels so far this year, but that is okay. Everybody has their own spooky taste. And I of course want to show you guys because some of you might be interested in the stuff they have. I'm not going to spoil it until we get there in case you haven't seen it yet. Anyways, we're going to start off, I think, with Cracker Barrel because it's early in the morning and that's probably the only place open so far. So let's head to Cracker Barrel. I'm, 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 I'm getting the good spooky vibes. I think we're going to see a lot of stuff. <laughs> Guys, they're just putting up the Halloween. No. Okay, we're gonna have to stop by, kind of, I guess, at the end of today because they are just putting it up. There's only a little tiny black tree, and like all of the employees are around the stand. Ugh! Already bad vibes but it's okay let's stay positive guys okay stay positive we will see other stuff next stop <laughs> don't mind me 
just crying in the club because there's no spooky things again. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to feel in the spooky mood when everywhere we go is a strike out. Insert the clip of that girl. I think it's a TikTok where she goes. <laughs> Like the silent screaming, that is exactly how I feel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, okay, Joanne's and Michael's next. <laughs> like, what the heck at home? You can't just like get everybody's hopes up and say that Halloween's like sooner than ever and then just like lie. Like, how can you expect to do that and have someone not cry about it? Like, what the heck at home? <laughs> I thought things were gonna be different and like now I just don't wanna be here and I don't wanna go there and I don't wanna see your vases and all your like flowers and your patio furniture. Like I just don't want to. You just get people's hopes up and then you just dash it because you just think that it's like a game and you think it's so funny. Like what the heck? <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I'm just like, I just want at home stuff. I just wanna see it. I just want to talk to it. I just want to see it. I just want to touch it. I just want to buy it. Like, come on. Come on! Anyways, not me having a spooky mental breakdown. <laughs> this Joanne's location had again not put anything new out, but they are ready to put Halloween out. All of the display instructions are out and basically all of the aisles are clear. So we are getting close, guys. <laughs> These light up witch hats are really cute. They are very classic looking to me. I love the purple color to them as well. And they had maybe put a couple things out in this aisle, like this bust and this new planter that was actually made of plastic. I kind of thought it would be some kind of stone. And they did have this target knockoff of the skeleton jack-o'-lantern body. It was very lightweight. Our next stop is a Michaels and I'm here with mother. Debbie. Hello. <laughs> Will there be anything? Jack's wearing a shirt for yeah. the occasion. <laughs> Maybe she'll be the good luck charm. Um, we'll see. I'm more like Eastern looking. Okay. Yeah. Y'all, we got a spooky yet groovy code orange on our hands. There was a full middle display of Halloween at this Michaels. So first up, I noticed these neon lights. They have quite a few different ones. I think my favorites were the witch and this corner kind of spiderweb one. As per usual, they had their spooky town out and they had this spooky garland. It's clearly designed to fit in with the themes they're going with this year, as I do see a lot of the groovy 60s Halloween. Halloween look. I'm looking for more of this stuff, the black and white, but we'll see what other collections come out this year from Michaels. On to the groovy collection, and first up we've got this spooky sign that is probably one of my favorite things in this collection. I do like little disco balls. We had a disco ball bat. There were just plain disco balls. There were like disco ball ghosts. We kind of have disco ball everything going on here. There were these multicolor standing glittery ghosts. My mom found this guide to the spooky town, which is pretty awesome. There's quite a few cool pieces this year. I'm not exactly sure yet how many of them I'm actually gonna pick up. So we will see when the season gets going. Michaels had these little wooden pieces that kind of reminded me of an antique kid's toy of some kind. There were book stacks, of course, and this fuzzy skeleton. If he looks blurry on the coffin, it's because he's fuzzy for some reason. What a lot of hanging stuff, a lot of signs, some sitting jack-o'-lanterns, some beaded stuff, and some pom-pom wreaths, a lot of velvet pieces, and a lot of pink. This pumpkin is really cute, 
But guys, this thing is the lightest pumpkin I've ever picked up. It is made of like paper, I don't know. But we had some wacky spiders at the bottom. We had some hook loop pink pillows. Again, more velvet pieces. There were a lot of pillows this year. I think another one of my favorite pieces is this boo sign. Really groovy and it kind of like works somehow. So I did like the boo sign. Otherwise, again, more kind of hanging pieces and a lot of ghosts. There were some multicolor skeleton animals. They had a few ornaments, I believe, are what these are that were very glittery and multicolored. Some multicolor skulls. I definitely thought this dog's hand was bent the wrong way, but I guess that's how he's supposed to be standing. There were some more pillows that I liked more over here, like this skeleton. I think this is a home goods knockoff, but quite a bit smaller. He's really fuzzy and really adorable. They also had a knockoff of the Home Goods Spider. These eyeball pillows are pretty unique. I don't think I've ever really seen something like this before. There was a coffin skeleton pillow, but I've been eyeing one that's at, at home this year, a skeleton cat, some smiling ghosts, some hook loop ghosts, and these wide-eyed pumpkins. I am really not into the blow molds that they're offering at Michael's this year. The dog and the cat look very childish in my opinion, and the ghost I feel like should have colored in eyes and mouth, which I know you probably could do, but I just don't feel like it's worth picking up. I did, however, like these light up bats and spiders. They're really cool colors, very classic, and I love how they kind of shimmer and glimmer. Michaels had a few more string lights. I like the hanging candles. They had quite a few different kinds of those. The bats and the witch hat string were really cool as well. Once again, a very like classic look in my opinion. They had their small battery powered lights that they have each year. Some projector lights and these bleeding light bulbs, which were quite interesting. I don't think I've seen that before. On Halloween day, we're gonna light up so bright and be the smokiest sight. Well, ghouls and ghosties, we have reached our final stop, and that is Cracker Barrel. We are back. It is like four hours later, and I'm assuming that they have it set up now. I guess we're going to be like the first to see it, but I am excited, and I just really hope that they have it set up. I'm happy we kind of, I guess, had a Halloween at Michael's, as I probably said in the voiceover. The stuff that's out right now is not exactly my style, but I've just today, while I've been out and been at lunch, I've seen a couple more like posts and sneak peeks of other Michael's stuff that definitely looks better. So we'll see with Michael's, but I'm really hopeful that they'll have some stuff in Cracker Barrel now. So let's go in. Cracker Barrel had put up their Halloween display right at the entrance, which is awesome. Right away, I noticed the three-foot witch wraith. She was pretty cool. There were a lot of costumes, and they always kind of have this kid section and baby section. They have very cute stuff in there, including the Scooby-Doo merch. They had some Beetlejuice merch and some Peanuts merch this year as well. There are quite a few larger pieces this year. So there was the jack-o'-lantern lamppost that I did pick up last year and the three-foot regular wraith that I also picked up last year. He had a few scuffs, but he was the same price at $200 as he was last year. Mm -hmm. 
This end stand had a couple smaller pieces like some spooky pens and once again the bathroom barrel skeleton who says all kinds of funny stuff. There was the jack-o-lantern stack blow mold that I do like but I don't think I need compared to the other blow molds they're offering this year. <laughs> There were a lot of the other regular pieces, like a cutting board, some books, activity books, some ornaments, the spooky tree, and the regular size wraiths. It was cool to see all of the wraiths kind of in one place. They had the regular size witch wraith too, but I just still don't feel like I need her. They also had a lot of different salt and pepper shakers, one being this skeleton eye set of salt and pepper shakers. They had the tumblers that they have each year and the skeleton bowl that they have each year. There was this light up jack o' lantern that was kind of a larger piece, too. This was a crystal ball skull that was quite cool, and they had a lot of different salt and pepper shakers this year. I would say that's kind of like their biggest thing this year because there are so many different ones to choose from. ghouls and ghosties i will say i feel a bit refreshed when it comes to my spooky vibes and spooky feelings so we were able to see the full blown cracker barrel display which was really awesome i had a feeling they'd have it up by the time we got back and sure enough they did unfortunately the one thing that i was like possibly considering grabbing wasn't actually there so i really wanted to see what the witch blow mold looked like in person but they didn't have it 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 looked like there was maybe a spot that had been emptied already like someone had maybe purchased it possibly or they may have never even got it in because i also didn't see the skull stack blow mold either i'll give it away i did order the, the skull stack and raven blow mold from the website or else i would have been on the hunt for that but i do i do have that one already so that's okay but i would have liked to see the witch i maybe would have picked it up but that's okay it's fine it's fine i do feel really i feel i feel a lot better after seeing that i'm amped I'm pumped and I'm so ready to begin the spooky shopping season. It seems like, I mean, it feels like we're totally just like jumping into it. When I look online and stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh, like we're here. It's happening. It's now. It's just like in person, then I go out and I don't see anything. So I don't get that same feeling. I know for a fact, by the time that I get back from my trip, which is going to be, I think like July 6th or 7th, I'll be coming back. We're going to be in full blown haunt hunting mode. This video, I'm not going to consider full blown haunt hunting yet, but we will be kicking off haunt hunting as we kick off July and hopefully by the first or second Friday of July we will have our very first haunt hunting episode. I'm so freaking excited. Oh my gosh, like we're going to be getting into home goods. We're going to be getting into at home finally. Oh my gosh, we're going to be getting Marshalls. Bath and Body Works is going to be soon. Soon Home Depot will probably have their preview. Like we are just getting into it and I could not be more excited. So we did it guys. We spotted Halloween in June and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video for some real full-blown salt of the earth haunt hunting. I'm so excited and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.